In this video, we are going to be solving this simple Olympiad math problem. We are asked to find the value of x if 3 x to the power 3 is equal to 24. So what do we do? Solution. Now, I'm having, okay, let me demarcate here so that it will be easy for me to solve in two places. So, and don't forget, I have a full video on any topic at all you need in physics, chemistry, and math. Just go to the playlist side. You will see all of them. Any topic at all that will help you to prepare for your exams, okay? So, in this question now, we have we have that 3x squared uh, is equal to what? 24, all right? Now, we can divide, sorry, 3x cubed, not squared. 3s cubed. Okay. So we can divide both sides by 3. So divide divide both sides by 3. So I'm going to have 3s cubed divided by 3 is equal to 24 by 3. So this into this is gone. So I'm left with x to the power 3 is equal to is equal to 20 is equal to 8 okay so now let us carry this one to this side now it is very wrong for you to say that uh, maybe x is power x is now equal to then just take the cube you'll just take the cube of um, 8 and then you're having that x is equal to 2 okay now this is one of the solution but that is not all the solution to this this two here is only the real solution to this so we need to find all the solution to this so Instead of doing this, let me show you what we are going to do. Okay, what we are going to do is just to bring the 8 to the other side to have that that x raised to the power 3 minus 8 is equal to what? Uh, 0. Okay, now, what do we do? I'm going to solve this in two ways. I'm going to solve this in two ways. Now, I know that 8 is something as 2 raised to the power 3, right? Look at that, 8. Permit me to share it here. This is 8. 2 divide is 4. 2 divide is 2. 2 divide is 1. So, I'm dividing with 2 and there are 3 in numbers. So, this is x raised to the power 3 minus 2 raised to the power 3. Okay? Is equal to what? Is equal to 0. Now, what is the what is the factor of, um, if I have x raised to the power 3 minus y raised to the power 3. Now, how do you factorize this? Now, this is the same thing as saying this is the same thing as saying um, how do we factorize this? This is something I'm saying. Think x. Uh, okay, this is x minus y. X minus y in bracket of x squared plus xy plus y squared. Okay, let's check if it is the same thing. So this is equal to, let's check, x times this will give you x cubed. x times this one will give you uh, plus x squared y. Okay. Uh, this time this will give you okay sorry this time this will give you plus x y squared now minus this time this will give you minus x y minus x squared y okay now minus this okay sorry so that will not make mistake let's just take it gradually we want to verify if it is correct so this is equal to x times x will give you x cubed x times the second one will give you plus x squared y then x times the last one to give you x y squared now let's go to minus y minus y times the first one you have minus x squared y minus y times the second one you have minus x y squared then minus y times this to have minus y cubed okay so now you see that this is taking care of this why this is taking care of this so so therefore you see that this is the same thing as this Okay, so now let us apply that thing, that same thing here. So this is something as saying, this is something as saying, x minus two in bracket of x squared uh, plus x sorry plus two x combine it plus two x then plus two squared. Okay, is equal to zero. So which will give you x minus y, not y but two rather x minus 2, then in brackets of x squared plus 2x plus um, 4 is equal to 0. Okay? Now, instead of, if you don't know that the factorization of this thing will give you this, we can apply, uh, we can use normal division of polynomial 
to get this okay so from here the factors of eight the factors of let, let us factorize here x squared minus eight equal to zero let's see if we'll get the same thing using polynomial division of polynomial so here the factors of eight two is among the factors of eight so let's check if it will give us zero so let's say that let x be equal to two so if i put two here i'm going to have that that two squared sorry two cube this is cube not squared so two cube so let me put this so two cube minus eight is the same as saying eight minus a which is zero so since i got zero this side implies that this one can move to this side to have that x minus two is a factor of this polynomial here okay so since it is a factor we now use division method of polynomial to get the remaining factor so here is x minus two while here is what s cubed minus eight now this first one divide the first one i'm going to have x squared s squared times this to give you what x cubed s squared times this will give you minus two x squared okay so let us subtract if i subtract this and this is gone minus minus is plus so i'm having two x squared i bring down my minus eight okay so we keep dividing let's keep dividing so these two x squared divided by x here i'm going to have plus plus two x then that two x times this will give you what two x squared then that two x times this one now i'm going to have uh minus minus four x right so we subtract again if i subtract this and this is gone minus minus is plus so i'm going to have 4x minus 8. Now that 4x divided by x, I'm going to have plus 4. Plus 4. So that plus 4 times x, I'm going to have 4x. That plus 4 times minus 8, I'm going to have minus 8 here. So if I subtract, I'm getting 0. Now since I got 0, it automatically means that the factors are now, the factors of x cubed minus 8 is the same thing as saying x minus 2, then in brackets of x squared plus 2x plus 4 which is exactly the same thing which is exactly the same thing we got here you see so since the same thing we got here let us now continue from here so if you continue from here you know that when the product of two things is zero automatically one of them is zero so we can say that that x minus 2 is equal to zero or we say that x squared plus 4 sorry plus 2x x squared plus 2x then plus 4 is equal to 0. So solving this one, I'm going to have that x is equal to 2. Now let us solve this by quadratic formula. We say that x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything over what? 2a. From here, a is the quotient of x squared, which is 1. Okay? And then b is quotient of x, which is 2. And then c is the constant, which is 4. Okay, so now let's substitute. If we substitute, I'm going to have that x is equal to what? Minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 into 1, then into 4. Okay, then everything over 2 into 1. So I'm going to have that x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus the square root of, this is 4 minus 16 everything over 2 so if we continue like that we are going to have that that our x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus the square root of minus 12 okay everything over 2 okay now but if we break 12 down if we break 12 down 12 2 divide is uh 6 2 divide is 3 3 is divide is 1 so anyone that is double stays outside then the one that is single will stay inside. So this is x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus. Now, this is 2i then root 3. Okay? This 2 is double. I put it outside. This 3 is single. I put it inside. Then the square root of a negative number is i. Okay? Then all over what? 2. So now we are going to have that x is equal to what? Minus 2 over 2 plus or minus 2i over 2, then root 3. So, if they cancel out, I'm going to have that x is equal to what? 
minus 1 plus or minus i root 3. Alright? So, therefore, my x is equal to 2 comma minus 1 plus i root 3. And then finally, minus 1 minus i root 3. Okay? So, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget I have a full video on any course you want to study in my playlist as far as it is mass physics and chemistry all the topics i've done them perfectly well full video on the topics go straight to my playlist and you will assess them may the peace of the lord be with you bye bye